Okay, so I just got done installing this chimney. It's six feet tall. Now, I went and I was gonna order up a chimney support bracket. They're about $100, but I figured I could make one for much less, and I'm gonna show you how I did it. So skipping way ahead, here's how it's gonna look. If you're interested, keep watching. So I went down to the local hardware store, which in my case was Home Depot, and I found myself in the framing section. So these brackets here are Simpsons Strong Tie. So I went with those two and a half inch ones. And I also went with a couple of these straps here. These are also Simpsons Strong Tie. Now, for a more complete throw list, check the description below and I'll post the list of some of the pieces that I needed to make this happen. But what I ended up doing is I got four 24 inch straps and this one 36 inch strap. Now, this is the one that I needed for my six inch chimney. I also picked up two 10 foot pieces of conduit pipe, one half inch and one three quarter inch. These 10 foot sections of conduit, that's what this is, EMT conduit, um, it's weather resistant for the most part, but each of these 10 foot pieces are gonna get cut into two and they will interlock with each other like this, like a telescoping piece. Each side of the chimney is gonna have one of these. This is what's gonna give it the support and the adjustability. Okay, so first thing I did is I grabbed one of these 36 inch long brackets, I wrapped it around the six inch chimney pipe, and I'm using these vice grips to try to tighten it up as best I can. So the plan is I'm gonna take a quarter inch drill bit, I'm gonna drill a hole right here. That's gonna be for a bolt that I'm gonna add on, and once that bolt tightens up that bracket, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna lock everything in tight. Okay, so I went ahead and I marked the center of the 24 inch bracket that's here. The center of my 36 inch bracket is here. So I will line these up like so, okay? This will wrap around and this will have like a tab on it. So I'm just using some little quarter inch nuts and bolts. I didn't have to buy these. So if you're gonna do this yourself, you're gonna have to go and get these. I'm using a quarter inch bit and I'll attach this bracket here now, okay? With these little tiny stubby um, bolts and then I'll use this longer one to attach the big one up there on the chimney itself. That'll be the first step. All right, so this is what I have now. Okay, I just used some of these little bolts on the side. All right, so I used the uh, vice grips and got it kind of formed. I'm just gonna take a guess and I'm gonna drill a hole through about here in this general area here, okay? So when I get up there, hopefully the bolt, maybe with some washers on it, will help tighten this up. All right, it's through. Um, I just drilled one going this way, one going this way, then I kind of connected it right now. Pretty confident that's cool. All right, so one of the good things about using a galvanized shell casing for the chimney is that all my pieces match now. These straps match the, the chimney pipe. Here's the hole. This is where the bolt's gonna go through, so that's gonna match up too. I'm just gonna go ahead and run the bolt through. Okay, so here's what I have. It's sucked up super tight. These are little extra tabs here. So we'll look over here. These extra pieces sticking out are not gonna get used. The conduit that I'm gonna work with next is gonna bolt directly to this nut and this bolt. So the reason for the extra, the two straps is gonna give extra strength around the chimney. So over the years, it's gonna be perfect. So the next step is gonna be taking these 10 foot lengths of conduit and splitting them down the middle to two five foot lengths. I've already got the first one cut here and the second one's on the vise, mocked up, ready to be cut. All right, so each one's cut in half. You'll see that the half inch very easily slides into the three quarter inch piece. All right, so I stuck this in the vise, measured back two inches and I flattened it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten these a little bit better. And if you don't have a vise, just go ahead and use a hammer, no big deal. And this edge, this is gonna be the receiver for the smaller pipe that goes through. I flattened out all four pieces. These are the larger diameter pieces that have already been pre-cut. These pieces are gonna bolt directly to the bracket that we made that's attached to the chimney. So the two holes that you're looking at here are gonna receive the telescoping smaller half inch diameter piece. Once everything's locked into position, these pre-drilled holes are where we're gonna add the screws to lock it into place. Okay, so I have the um, holes going through there for the bolts. Now, the half inch piece is gonna be down low. This is gonna be the bracket that actually mounts on the roof itself, okay? So, you can see it's not really shaped the same. Um, one is about an inch and a half, the other is about two. 
or so. Well, the two inch piece, I'm gonna have this secured to this piece like so with the bolt. This inch and a half is gonna actually be um, silicone down and attached to the shingles going into a, one of the trusses if I could hit a truss. So on the half inch conduit piece, I have these pieces mounted. You see that they're flexible. Okay, so it doesn't really matter when I actually put this piece on the roof. It doesn't matter where I put it. I could, I could move my piece and you can see that this piece stays down flat. So now I'm gonna take this piece and go up on the chimney and figure out the angle that I need so when the pieces, the telescoping pieces come out, it's at the correct angle. All right, so I went up there and pre-fit it. Okay, this is gonna get a little confusing to understand, but if you remember on the chimney on the brackets, I put those quarter inch bolts that are sticking out. That's gonna go in this hole here. I'm gonna use a grinder. I'm gonna round these corners off quite a bit. Here we go, that's what I have now. No big deal. I'm gonna match that angle with the other piece. Pretty dang close. Now it's just a matter of just assembling it and putting it together, no big deal. Okay, so I'm mocking it up right now. I'm outside the workshop. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from the center of the chimney and I'll measure out equal distance left and right. I'll also measure the same distance as height-wise, so I'm gonna go up the same distance, whether it's three feet, four foot, whatever it might be, keep it equal. So we're getting an idea how it's gonna look. Total length of this side is gonna be about six foot long. I'll get one side installed, put silicone right here, screw, 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 tighten up that nut. I'll do the same thing over here, keeping it nice and even. Okay, I have one of them halfway screwed down. I have a couple short screws in it right now. I'm gonna drive the longer ones. To keep it symmetrical, here's what I did. I figured out what row of shingles I wanted to mount the bracket to. So I went up with the center. I found the center of the chimney itself. That's this mark right here. So the center of the mark, you can see there's a chimney. I figured out the width that I wanted to go. It ended up being 55 inches in each direction. So I put another mark at 55 inches. It keeps it nice and symmetrical so it doesn't look funky. Here's my 55 inch mark right here. I decided whatever my mark was, center with the shingle, wherever this bolt was, that's where it's gonna be. So let's add some silicone, lots of silicone. Silicone is good, 100%. Brought a rag up here. So there's a code I should talk about. I don't know what it is in your area, but my area is a chimney higher than five foot needs to have a support bracket, and mine is more or less seven foot tall. So it's windy up here right now as I'm recording this. That's why I'm putting this bracket up here. All right, so I have two three quarter inch screws installed right now. The shingles are thicker down low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these inch and a quarter screws to give me more embedment right into the sheeting. All right, so I'll just take some of this extra silicone, rub it around. I'll make sure I have plenty on the top side where the water comes down. My idea is to encase the screw heads with silicone. And wipe it off with a rag. So now I'm gonna screw this bolt down, lock it in, and then I'll finish the other side. And once all that's done, I'll plumb up the chimney pipe and I'll be able to take two self tapering screws and lock them in right there. That's it. Both sides are done. You can see it's perfectly symmetrical. It's very important cosmetics, of course. Now I'll just double check with the level to make sure we're plumb. Just gotta make sure it's perfect. Once that's done, we're done. All right, so this is it. I'm done. I added more Henry's here on the top edge. I don't know if I needed to, but I did. Can't see it from down below. And I did it on the top edge where the water's gonna come down. So cosmetically, it looks all right. I use my big four foot level to make sure it's perfect. Most people are probably gonna have a small level like this, which is fine. So now it's time to light a fire to celebrate all the hard work I did today, which really wasn't that much. So hopefully you took something from it and you could do this yourself. For now, I'm signing out, happy as can be. It's well worth the time and effort to get this thing going. I'm just gonna enjoy it now. Later.